Hello, I'm Fanny, and I'm a research scientist at SNAP. I'm presenting Significant Otter, Understanding the Role of Biosignals in Communication. It's well known that remote communication is challenging. Over technology, you just don't get the social cues we need to establish social connection. I'm sure all of us have experienced this during the pandemic, where we've had to rely heavily on text or video calls, even now during this conference. In all these channels, it can be hard to get a sense of someone without proper access to cues like their facial expressions or their gestures. In my research, I'm exploring new opportunities to address this through expressive biosignals that use a sense physiological data, such as our heart rate, as a new kind of social cue. Today's world has a number of devices with sensors that record data like heart rate and even share them with other people, like the Fitbit and the Apple Watch. Several prior works show that sharing this type of data can be a playful way to express your emotions and let people know what you're up to. But while these works show that expressive bio signals have the potential to affect the way we communicate and connect with others, they haven't quite clarified what those effects are. That was the goal of this research, investigating the role of expressive bio signals in communication through two versions of an app called Significant Otter, one with bio signal sensing off and one with it on. We investigated how shifting between these two versions might one, affect our communication, and two, our feelings of connection with each other. Significant Otter is an Apple Watch app for couples that's available on the App Store, so you can feel free to download and check it out. We've had over 60,000 app installations since our release, and we've been featured on the App Store, Apple Retail Stores, and Product Hunt. To use Significant Otter, you can view the app on your watch using the crown on the top right to scroll and see a set of otter emotion animations sensed from heart rate. For example, if your heart rate is high, you might see both an excited and an angry otter. In the sensing off version, you'd see a set of random otters. After selecting the one you want, you can tap to send it to your significant other, who will then get a notification on the watch that they can tap to view the otter animation you sent, after which they can scroll through their own otters and tap on it to react. We ran a one-month study deploying significant otter with 20 couples. During the study, participants used the sensing off version for the first two weeks before switching to sensing on for the last two weeks. We collected data throughout the study through interviews and daily surveys on participants' usage. Based on our qualitative analysis of their responses, we found opportunities for biosignals to function as enhanced emojis. With sensing off, the otters were essentially a shorter emoji or sticker keyboard similar to those on existing apps. One of the challenges of emojis, though, is that they're known to have multiple possible meanings. We also saw this in our study, where people were confused about what their partner's otter meant. Sensing on actually mitigated these issues and enhanced communication, where people could more easily send their state backed by data. Since it was tied to their biosignals, the otter simply represented their emotions, which we found also helped couples become more open and honest with each other about their true emotions. Overall, three-fourths of participants preferred the sensing on version for this reason. Future work could explore extending these benefits into existing communication platforms, such as integrating bow signals into existing stickers or emojis with badges to indicate that they reflect the body state. At the same time, we saw tensions between people in our system. Significant Otter is a form of AI-mediated communication in which messages are supplied by an AI system. The app suggested your otter's emotion based on your heart rate, which some people blindly trusted, while others were more skeptical based on their lay understanding of emotions or confidence in knowing themselves. This led to concerns that people didn't have agency over their own feelings, or they weren't putting in effort to reflect on how they were actually feeling versus just sending what the system told them. Future work should explore these tensions further and build systems that better collaborate with users based on their subjective understanding of their own emotions. To summarize, we evaluated the role of biosignals in communication by exploring people's perceptions of shifting between a sensing on and off version of significant otter. In terms of communication, we found that sensing on with biosignals help people more easily keep in touch with each other's emotional state, backed by data. This depended on people's perceptions of the system's accuracy, though. We also found that biosignals help build feelings of connection through authenticity where people became more compelled to share their actual emotions with each other, though with some questions around agency over those emotions. Thank you very much for watching.